Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So recently I have bought this ebook reader. So I bought this ebook reader actually out of curiosity. I'm not really a bookworm. I do read books and I really prefer physical copy of books rather than uh, like reading on computer or on my phone. So I bought this device to try out what's going on with the ink display and other things. And this device is called Kobo Glow HD. This one is pretty old ebook reader. This one is from 2015, but it doesn't matter for me. I just wanted to try out what's going on. And I bought this device for $10. But according to seller, this device doesn't charge. So I got this like two or three weeks ago. And I kind of liking it. And I'm reading more books than I usually read. It's kind of fun to read books on this kind of devices, although the display is quite small. This device got a 6-inch display, uh, but it's good enough. Actually, you can read pretty well, and you can like it is pretty much very similar to a um, physical copy of books. So the main problem or main issue with this device, actually, that according to the seller, this device doesn't charge, and that's kind of true. So going with this device, let's turn it on first. Let me show you something what I have done with this device. So if you have one of this device, if you are facing the issue I am facing right now, uh, maybe these things will help you a little bit. Although you can't really fully uh, solve this issue or if you don't take it to a technician or anywhere else. But if anyone having this kind of issue or solve this issue anyway, you can let me know in the comment section below. I really wanted to know what's going on with this issue. So as you can see here, the device, I bought it 4 gig model. And right now, if I show you the more section settings, if I go to device information, so as you can see here, the device on board storage is 32 GB. So I have uh, like updated the storage to 32 GB right now. And this was the main SD card came with it. Uh, if you have one of these devices, Kobo Glow HD, if you want to update your SD card, I will put you a, a video link in the description below. You can try updating your SD card. So if you want to update your SD card, you have to uh, disassemble the device. So it is pretty easy to disassemble. You have to, you need a, a like guitar pick or you can use your nail to open, like disassemble the device. So you have to open this back panel first. So kind of very easily you can like, like open this. And let me open this and show you what's going on. So now as I am, I got a little gap. Maybe I can open this. Now we can go. There are... The clips are holding the bag actually. There is no screw or anything like that. So if you update the SD card, two of the benefits you will get. First of all, you are up, like updating your SD card. And also, you will get like much smoother experience because if you put an SD card, you're going to put a better one. So now I have put a Samsung 32 GB Evo SD card, which is class 10 SD card. It is much better than this SanDisk SD card. And the UI is much smoother right now. So as you can see here, the inside of this device and the SD card is here. But swapping SD card is not really that easy like you swap with your phone or anything like that because this SD card also contains the firmware file and everything like because of that actually if you like changing the SD card you have to make a copy of this SD card it's not really like copying the like putting your SD card to your computer and copying the all file to another SD card it will not work like that you have to make an image file of this SD card or like me in my case, the older one, and you have to restore it to your SD card. And also you have to do a little bit of partition things to get it fully work. So now as you can see, the way you can SD card, update your SD card, I have already said. So now come to the main point here. So as I said, this device cannot be charged. So now if I connect to the charger, now, as you can see, I have connected to char charger. And it is now sleeping automatically. And as you can see, please charge your e-reader. So whenever I connect this 
to my PC or anything like that. It doesn't charge. Even it doesn't show up in my computer. So I cannot copy any kind of like my files to it. So I cannot read any kind of books or anything like that. Only I can do, I can connect to, to Wi-Fi and download ebooks directly from their store. But there is a way to fix that issue. Um, I will show you that how you can do that. So now as you can see, I don't really know how to fix that. I did check the like the micro USB port and also I did check the battery. The battery is fine, micro USB port is fine. I don't really know what's going on. So if you are facing this same issue, if you solve it, solve the issue, you can let me know in the comment section below. It will be very helpful. So now actually the device does charge if you put it like connected like this, it does charge. But if you turn on after charging the device, it will not show you a percentage. If it is like charged fully, still it will not show. In that case, you have to like open the back panel and like reconnect the battery. And that time it will update the battery percentage. So it's quite uh, difficult. But one thing about this kind of devices that, that it can last very long. So you don't have to do it like daily, maybe two or three days if you wait a lot, two three days. So as you can see, the battery is now showing one person but I do need to like replug it and it will work perfectly fine after that so now as you can see here I have a lot of books I have these are my all my my books I haven't downloaded it from any kind of like Kobo store or anything like that I download it in my way so if you have issue like you cannot access your device uh, on your PC using my USB port or you don't want to download books directly from the store you can do one thing so first of all connect to the Wi-Fi and here I have my phone so that way I'm like getting files to this device is because this one like don't have any kind of Bluetooth or anything like that I cannot send files directly to it so I have to use a little bit trick to get my files in there. So usually what I do, I connect my phone and my ebook reader to the same Wi-Fi network. So it's kind of trying. It is pretty slow in terms of connecting to the Wi-Fi, but it does work perfectly fine though. You will not have any issue or I'm not having any issue related to this. So connect to my Wi-Fi. Let's wait for this device to connect. So if you are connected to your Wi-Fi right now, so you have to download a uh, file manager. You can download anything which can share file like through FTP. So I'm using a file manager called RS file manager. So if I open this RS file manager, so it, I can go to my section. And if I go to download section, as you can see, I have a lot of books here. So if I want to like get these books on my ebook reader. So what I do, I just select the files and I can go more section and I can share by browser and as you can see I need to turn on a web address here so I can access this web address directly from this device so there is a built-in browser so now our device is connected to the same network as my phone connected so now I can go to more section and go to the beta feature section and I can start the browser so if I start the browser, it will directly go to the like the, the the link here because I have already put the link as a default address. But in your case, you have to type the address directly here, like this one. Whatever it is showing here, you have to directly write here, and it will access the page. So right now, if I start it, it should open the page directly here or I have to write it like okay let me write it so if I write it's like I go go as you can see here it is showing the files so it is showing the RS file manager the file manager I'm sh sharing the file now I can tap on the show file and now I can download my whatever book I have shared so now if I want to download it is and it is downloaded now if I open it it will directly open the file as you can see here the file is open so in this way if you have issue with your device like if it is not working uh, the USB port is not working if you can't share the file you can use this method maybe it will work on almost all the Kobo devices even uh, with 
Amazon and other ebook readers, if you have this issue, if they have like Wi-Fi web browser, so you can use and you can download the books, whatever you like, you can share. So that way you can read books. So as you can see here, the books are showing the first book I have just now clicked on and it is showing here. Uh, there are like missing fonts. Uh, if you have like font issue, you have to take out the SD card and have to make a font folder and put the fonts there. Uh, easily, if you have like good ebook reader, you just can connect and copy paste the font there. But in my case, I can't do that. I have to like take out SD card, put it in my computer and copy the font file. And in this way, you can do that. So that's all about ebook reader. I just wanted to share you how you can file transfer the file if you have a faulty book reader like me. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you.